Right lads and lasses, welcome to Dark Sense Tips and Advice with Dynamite Dave again. Um, the second of the quick fire videos, another very short one today, and what we're going to talk about is the grip. Right now, obviously there's 101 different ways of gripping a, a dart, but there's two or three basic ones. I've got one of my darts here, and I'm going to show you the different ways and why I think the way that I grip a dart is not superior, but... I think it's more stable obviously entirely up to yourselves what you think um, everything's subjective as we've said a million times before so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now how I grip the dart right so I'm going to come over here out to shot so you can get a proper look at the at, at my grip right my grip is like this I actually grip like this and then as I come back my finger comes out of the way now nice straight thumb if you look, I've actually got a finger over the top and I've got the dart point running along underneath my nail. The reason for that is, and I'll show you a different grip now, which is one that is quite common, people hold the dart like this. Right? The problem that I have with that is this. My grip, right, I've got the, the dart, how I grip it, look how solid that is. It ain't moving nowhere there's no movement in it and as i throw as my fingers come away from the dart and the dart comes out of my hand if you've watched one or two of my slow motion videos you'll see that the dart comes out of my hand perfectly level it doesn't do any of this wiggling about in the air up and down round and about and side to side it just flies very true straight through the air and into the board and obviously as i keep saying and said a million times the less anomalies the less differences the better it is and obviously if you're firing a if you're throwing a dart like you'd fire an arrow out of a bow if you throw fire an arrow out of a bow it doesn't go like this all over the place as it goes through the air and then lands in the board stuck up or stuck down it actually lands the arrow lands into the target at a nice arc and that makes more room for your other darts to go in at the side of it so it's all very very logical the way that I do everything as I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll probably agree but that is the reason why I throw my darts the way that I throw them I spent a, long, a lot of time thinking about this in the past I've tried throwing them like this um, the other one that I tried to do was throwing them like that and when your darts are going up and down in the air if they land into the board I'm going to pick you up in a second and show you something if your darts land into the board in this sort of angle, which I've seen quite a lot of people's do, right, what I'm going to do is show, show you as, you, as your next dart comes in, it's coming in at this angle. So what's, what, what can happen, and a lot of people get this, I've sit, and I actually watched it on the telly the other night, the dart came in and it struck the flight there. Went like that, hit the board and bounced out. So the way that I throw them is they go in virtually level. So as this comes in, basically the worst that can happen is as it comes in at an angle like that, that flight can hit that flight and deflect it off a little bit or a little bit into here, which can happen. But at least I'm not getting the bounce outs. If you've got darts that wiggle about all through the air as they, as they fly and they don't land in the board level then obviously you've got you've got bigger a bigger chance of your darts bouncing out so that again a quick fire one nice and simple dead dead quick how to how to grip the dart good perf absolutely solid way of gripping it but of course it's up to yourselves right thanks for watching dart since tips and advice and that's the second in the rapid fire videos talk to the hockey